Ready, huh? set. This week, we have some awesome stuff. Ryan is here with me to talk about some fun magic. But before he goes into that, we are gonna talk about some brand new number ones that just came out this week. We've got the New Gods special. Now, if you remember the New Gods, they're created, uh, characters created by Jack Kirby, and this is a special uh, King Kirby edition that they're putting out to celebrate Jack's work, which is uh, pretty hardcore. If you don't know anything about the New Gods, now is the time to learn. Come check it out. Another one we got is Elsewhere, which is a brand new image number one. Image number ones are typically uh, pretty great to check out, even if you uh, you don't know what's going on. This is Amelia Earhart. What happens to Amelia Earhart? Uh, I won't give anything away, but it will say there are like crazy dragon creatures in it, and that's pretty cool. Uh, another new, new number one, we have Generations. Now this is gonna be a series that uh, Marvel is putting out a series of one shots that is gonna be all about the past and present incarnations of some of their most loved characters. Uh, this one has got Bruce Banner and then also Amadeus Cho for a totally awesome Hulk. And then we're also gonna get one with Peter Parker and Miles Morales and uh, Tony Stark and Riri. There's gonna be all kinds of fun stuff going on. If you haven't picked up, we have free previews of those books here at the front counter. Get them while they are still there and you can check out all the new ones coming out for the rest of the end of the summer and the beginning of the fall. Those are the picks of the week. Super quick status, now on to Ryan. See, the reason NASA faked the moon landing was so that we would seem superior to other countries who can't figure out how to get into space. So we created the concept of space. So they're like, wait, why can't we do this? Well, because it's not real, but they don't know that. Because they think we went to the moon. They're like, why can't we get to the moon? But space we're wasn't real before Space that. isn't real. No, space still isn't real. It's a dome. What's outside the dome? There is nothing. It's just, that's it. <laughs> what is happening? Cloud people are going to steal your babies. So Hour of Devastation game day is coming up this Saturday, August 5th at noon. Um, if you don't have a deck ready, uh, come by for F&M Friday the night before on the 4th. Uh, test out your standard deck and get it geared ready um, so you can get first place and win that super cool Nicol Bolas uh, Mastermind. Ciao! Um, it's so pretty. Yes. The top eight finishers, there we go, top eight finishers will get the uh, full art foil anointed pouncer and then everyone participating will get the full art um, a braid card, uh, which has been doing really well. And if you haven't checked out the Pro Tour, uh, check it out. Some pretty great plays and misplays. Shouts out to Yam. Oh, uh, poor Yam. Sorry about that play, buddy. Hope everything's going well. <laughs> we're doing an Hour of Devastation League. Um, we are running ours uh, for an extended period, so we're running it all the way to Ixalan, as opposed to all the other shops who are stopping it um, after the four weeks. There will be weekly prizes. The winner's gonna uh, probably win a whole lot of, a lot of stuff. Um, the <laughs> overall prize pool is kind of, um, connected to how many people end up joining it, but it's been going pretty well so far, so it's gonna be a pretty good payout. Um, there will also be consolation prizes, so don't worry. Um, and at the very least, you'll be get to playing, you'll be get, you will get to play Magic. A lot of people are gonna steal your babies uh, with a whole bunch of fun people, so come on by. We have a really great crew, and if you haven't been to our Wednesday Night Magic, it's a Commander, Modern, Standard, we play it all, everybody's here, ready to play Magic, and also board games. And then Friday Night Magic this week is standard. I don't care what color the it is. The sarcasm runs so deep inside you that I feel like sometimes even you don't know <laughs> that it's sarcasm. It's, yeah, at some point <laughs> You I'm get lost gonna, a little bit yeah. in it. Who's the real Ryan? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Thank you for watching the Picks of the Week and the Weekly What's Up. We will see you next week when we have Candy Corn for Breakfast playing on Saturday. Ooh, live music, Halloween fun times, costumes. It's going to be great. Have a good week. <laughs>